Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to install Optifine shaders for Minecraft Java on Android. There's no need for more talking, let's go to the video. First, go to your browser and download Zalith Launcher. This is the easiest launcher to set up, that's why this is what we are going to use. Click the Download Zalith and download the APK on the bottom. Open Zalith and follow these easy steps. Click Agree and Install. Now we need to install a Minecraft version. I recommend you to use the 1.21 for version because the other latest versions have visual bags. And of course, install it along with Optifine 1.21.4. You can see it's downloading below. While it's downloading, click on Add Account. Just use Offline Account. After that, click Return. It is important to select the version we installed here. Next thing we are going to do is to install the custom render called Mobile Glues. You can see there's no Mobile Glues here. We just need to download the plugin. If you can't download it, you may need to sign in first in GitHub. Here, click on Modify Renderer, and if this pop up, create new folder and name it capital MG. A new settings will show. Just copy the settings I provided in this video. Now it's all set up. Go back to Zalith Launcher and select the Mobile Glues render. Adjust resolution based on your device. I recommend at least 30%. And enable alternative rendering. In controls, you can manage this section later. Adjust whatever you want here. Next thing is to download shader packs. It's super easy. Just search and download from the list. Now it's done, launch the game and adjust some settings inside Minecraft.
Render distance is based on your device. If you have low or mid-range device, set it to number 2. If high-end device, set it to 5 or higher. Well, here we go. A nice, beautiful, and fresh, newly generated world of Minecraft. I'm using BSL shader for this one. I know the controls is a bit messy, but you can customize it later. I'm also going to show you how to install downloaded controls. In the main menu, Click on Manage Controls. To add new controls, just click Import. Select the downloaded controls. And now, you can now select it from the game inside. You can also customize the button position also based on where you want it to be. So that's all for now friends, I hope you all doing okay. Thank you guys for watching and see you next video, bye bye.